Hi guys, it's Simon from Tech More Life Video and this is my last minute rumour wrap up for the Apple Media event that is happening on the 22nd of October. So guys, we've got the media event coming up. This is the graphic. Um, it says we still have a lot to cover. So it sounds like, it sounds like we're going to get everything um, in this uh, one event. Um, I was thinking, that, I was thinking um, you know, we, didn't have, we had iPhones in the event a month ago. Um, and then I was thinking we're going to have an iPad event and then we might have a Mavericks uh, Mac kind of event. But it seems like they're going to pack it all in. So let's just do a quick rundown of what we're going to see. We're going to see iPads, we're going to see iPad mini, we're going to see Mavericks. Oh, we'll probably see some, a little bit more information about the Mac Pro uh, pricing um, and they'll probably do a little bit of a chat about that. Uh, the MacBook Pro um, looks like there might be something there in terms of an update. Um, Mac Mini is due for a bit of a spec bump. Um, it'll probably get one. Um, it may not get a mention at the event, but it might just get a spec bump on the website. That sometimes happens as well. Um, and Apple TV, will they talk anything there? There's been a lot of kind of rumours um, with that one as well. Um, so, let's uh, just go back through those. Apple TV, not so sure um, that they're going to do an update just yet. It's uh, It's been rumoured that they've been doing negotiations with um, uh, pay TV providers um, in the US. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether there's a need just at the moment to do an upgrade. Um, I imagine something's going to happen in the TV space um, in the next 12 months, um, but I don't know if it's going to happen at this event. Um, as I mentioned, the Mac Mini probably get an update. Um, again, it may not even get mentioned at the event um, because they're, they're packing so much into this event. The MacBook Pro, there's talk of it getting the new Intel Haswell, I think that's how you say it, Haswell um, uh, processors. Um, obviously, they usually improve battery life and things like that. Um, I don't think we're going to see the um, the old MacBook, uh, the non-retina one, drop off just yet um, in terms of the one with the optical drive. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if that actually disappears at all. Uh, sorry, uh, altogether um, in the next 12 months. Um, the Mac Pro is something that I'm very excited about. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade, but this is what it looks like. Um, it is. Um, an amazing uh, piece of product, um, so I think we're going to see some pricing um, on that, and it's probably going to it's going to drop. I would think this side of Christmas, um, uh, just a question of when. Um, uh, the big one is Mavericks. Uh, Mavericks is a new operating system um, replacing uh, Mountain Lion. Um, uh, there's been um, requests for developers to update their uh, their apps ahead of launch. Um, so it's looking like that's on the brink uh, of becoming available. They usually roll it out pretty quickly. Um, um, so soon after this event, um, I would say within a week of this event, um, or by the end of next week, um, we'll see that rolled out. Um, some improvements, obviously, um, but I. I progressive kind of improvement, uh, you know, um, uh, evolution rather than revolution, I think, in terms of uh, the um, operating system. So let's talk iPads. We've got two now. We've got the mini and we've got the full-size iPad. Now, what it looks like is going to happen is the full-size iPad is going to take the same form factor as the mini, so slightly smaller bezels and a similar uh, rear uh, shell shape. I actually prefer that shape. It's more like the original iPad. I've never really liked the one with the sloping sides. Um, I've got one, um, but I actually got it because my other one got stolen. Um, it's 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 right here. Um, but these edges here, I often find myself pressing uh, the buttons, um, locking it when I don't want to lock it, and it drives me mad. Um, so I prefer that thicker, uh, or that at least that not slopey kind of. The, I like the square edges, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, the thinner bezel, um, you're going to obviously reduce the glass size, so hopefully that'll reduce the weight. Um, but you're going to get uh, improved battery life. Does that mean bigger batteries? Um, it's sat, there's, there's, they're saying a 20% reduction in weight um, uh, because of the thickness coming down. Um, so I'm just interested to see how easy it is to hold. 
Um, I find the current one occasionally it can be difficult to hold when in certain positions when you're trying to sit there and hold it in one hand. Uh, it can actually be quite fatiguing. Um, so uh, that will be interesting to see whether the smaller bezel is actually a good thing. Um, in terms of uh, the display, the Mini has no Retina. I think the Mini is definitely going to go Retina. Um, the reason being is that all the devices that run iOS 7 will then be Retina, and that thinner font it would just be awful on a non-Retina display. And they don't want to be kind of showing that off on this iPad Mini and saying, look how cool this is, and it looking terrible, basically. It's almost unreadable. Um, even with iOS 6, it's almost unreadable. Um, I know that sounds silly because uh, we used to all live with that but the problem is that you adjust and when you go back it's like your eyes are blurry um, so when you've been exposed to the better it's hard to go back to the to the worst display so I definitely think the retina is coming there's been rumors that it's not coming because of supply chains but I definitely think it will be retina for those reasons alone um, and it's just an improvement that needs to happen at some point and this is this is the time for it to happen fingerprint sensor um, I think we'll see it on the full-size iPad. I don't think we'll see it on the Mini. The reason being that Apple don't give you everything all at once. They'll give you Retina, but they won't give you fingerprint sen sensor, even though it's cheap. I think they're going to hold off and put it on in a year's time, and it'll just give you one more reason to upgrade in a year's time. Uh, because by then, everybody's going to want a fingerprint sensor, because they'll have them on their phone, they'll get used to it. It is a great um, addition. I love it on my phone. Um, I using my iPad to download apps now is really annoying because I have to enter a password. It's just frustrating I have to swipe uh, to open the device or unlock the device. Um, uh, in terms of uh, chips, uh, we're looking at A7X chip and an A7 chip respectively. So the X chip in the bigger iPad, the A7 in the smaller. Um, um, we're looking at an 8 megapixel camera or rumored to be an 8 megapixel camera um, in both devices. Um, so that's at least what I think is going to happen. Um, uh, oh, the other one would be colours. I think we'll see space grey and, and silver definitely. We may see gold. Um, my only thought is that that whole back plate being gold is a little bit um, maybe too blingy. I don't know. The, 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 the gold of the iPhone 5 is actually quite subtle. It's not a really, really goldy gold, if that makes sense. It's not um, really goldy coloured gold. Uh, <laughs> making no sense whatsoever. Um, it's late here and I'm just trying to get these thoughts out. But look, I think the gold's a possibility, but they've been very, very tight. Even the ads on TV where they're using the gold one as the flagship, they're using the line subject to availability and they're being very, very tight with the restriction on the gold one to make it like a boutique product that is craved after by everybody. Um, so I don't know. If they do release a gold, in either of the iPads, I guarantee you it will be extremely hard to get your hands on. Uh, in terms of capacities, just quickly, um, I'm wondering if they'll drop the 16 from the larger iPad and just have the 32, 64, 128, um, and in the in the smaller iPad have the kind of um, uh, the 16, 32, 64. So there's kind of there's kind of a bit of crossover. Um, uh, Let's wait and see on that. At the moment, we've got four sizes in the big iPad. They still go down to 16, and they go all the way up to 128. Um, certainly, the extra capacity um, is great. I'm just hoping that they'll actually bring the price down and bring the 128 into that 64 gig uh, price bracket. Um, so that's all that's going to happen at this event. We're going to talk about a lot of different stuff. Um, one other little bit before I go, uh, the, um, the new uh, spaceship campus, which looks like this, um, Apple's new uh, facility has been approved by council and it's all going to go ahead. It looks like an amazing place. Um, I guess a place that uh, few of us will um, ever get to visit and um, maybe not even see the inside of. I don't know how much kind of, I'm sure Apple will want to brag a little bit um, when it's being built and they'll probably show it off at every opportunity. Um, but it looks like just an amazing place uh, to work. Um, so that's Apple's event on the 22nd. I'm Simon from Technolife Video. Please comment below, give us your thoughts uh, pre-event, and then I will also come back and comment post-event, see if I got it right. Um, so yeah, like the video, and please, of course, subscribe to the channel. Um, 
Uh, I'll actually be getting my hands on a new iPad mini when they come out, so I'll do an unboxing of that. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you on the other side of this event. I'm Simon again from Tech My Life Video. See you next time. Bye.